Hey guys, it's Matt Static. And I've made about, what, two or three Minecraft videos now? I've shown you guys my survival world, how I survive in that survival world. And naturally, I'm taking the next step. It's time I show you guys my creative world. Oh my fucking god. This is not how it's supposed to look. Alright, first things first, I made this world on my PS3 on a sick day in elementary school. So this is a damn near decade old world being revisited for the first time in years. So keep that in mind when you're judging it. Also, you know, please be nice. My 12 year old self was really sensitive about this kind of stuff. So anyways, we come across my first creation in this world, a tower that I built for a reason. It's pretty nice. Now I'm proud to say when you come across this bridge at the top, you will go to absolutely nowhere. Except if you fly over here, you will come across the uh, majestic sight of water. Nothing else. Over here in this tunnel is an ender portal that I used for my first and only ever time to beat the game of Minecraft on creative. Quite the achievement. Welcome to Into World City! Yay! So coming across my first house that I've made in the town, uh, you can already tell from the get-go. Yeah. I was definitely sick when I made this, I probably had some kind of shit in my eyes. But going inside, it's even worse! There's a bar I tried to work on, that didn't turn out well at all. Uh, let's see, you've got some couches made out of stone, a uh, TV made out of wool, and a pool just in the middle of the floor. No surrounding sediments or anything, this is a shit tier building. I actually didn't work on the upstairs a lot, which is probably why it turned out to be the best part of the building. Now I will give my 5th grader self credit here. Uh, something really cool I did was in each and every building I made, I added a secret entrance you could find around the house that led to a secret uh, portal to hell. I made this funny little uh, concept back then that everyone in the city was secretly part of a uh, satanic cult. So uh, I actually did plan to make this a city with roads and like sidewalks so you can see how far I got on that. Uh, over here you come into a wooden building, there, there's a window missing. This is actually pretty tame. There's only like one room. It kind of curves off a little bit. There's nothing really special. It's kind of modest. Oh man, and I didn't even try to hide the secret hell portal place. Man, this is such an underwhelming thing. Okay, <laughs> skipping over here. Nothing to... Brick building! Yes! Let's go there! Brick building! Hmm. Pretty nice. Why are there so many books though? Whoa, big bad wolf, I see you're still trying to get into the little piggies' homes. Well, my good sir, have you ever tried dynamite? Alright, I'm actually kind of proud of what I did here. Instead of actually being inside the house, the entrance is in the backyard, and then leads to inside the house behind the bookshelves. That, I'm proud. I also built a temple in the middle of the town for... Absolutely no reason. I don't know what to do with this, but if I'm sticking with the satanic cult vibe, I can think of a few ideas. Every Satan city has a bakery, of course. Uh, I swear I put food in here. I don't know where the villager I put in charge went, but when I find him... Okay, um, with this being like a devil worshipping town, this sticks out even more, but his hat's off-center, his nose, his red tie, and he doesn't even have the sh- Oh my god! But... I did make him livable inside. Good house. So this was actually a prison in development, but now it's just an example of why I never let fuckers into my Minecraft world anymore. So uh, I started to get a bit more fancy here, I made this modern house out of complete wool. You know, you want the floors to be comfortable. I even added a little kitchen area here. Nice. Uh, over here... This was supposed to be the bathroom, I think. I don't know, what can I use for a toilet? What was that? Oh my god, I have to fly! Oh! On the upper floors, you've got a pool slash porch. Not exactly sure how practical or safe that is. But oh yeah, I almost forgot about my secret nether portal. Nice, nice. I got nice with the decor here. Now that's a pool I want to swim in. You know, being worshippers of the Satan Lord, Hero Brian, it really comes with its perks. Like you get a wealth of information. That's why our libraries are so full. Over here's a bus. I think one of my little brothers made this explains why it's shit. Uh, anyways, um, up here you've got a farm I made. It was once live and full with animals, but, <laughs> you know, some dickhead decided to add lightning into the game until never guess where it hit. <laughs> 
Yeah, so after that experience, I decided to stop making my buildings out of wool and started with stone instead. Uh, this modern house is coming across pretty nicely, but it was just too much to finish. Alright, I'll justify that. Oh my god, his legs are different shapes, his arms are too small, his head is paper thin. What the fuck? I mean, at least his cape is a step. I think that's Martin Luther King. I'm in for like a school project. Looking good. Alright, this actually wasn't made by me. This was made by someone I invited here. It was nice enough to leave me with it before, you know, destroying my prison. And now, we get to my magnum opus. Great Wolf Lodge. So, we're starting off strong here. Doesn't even have steps again to the building. And when you'll come in, you'll notice three things. It is extremely huge and empty. There's snow on the ground. And clouds are just penetrating the ceiling. Got some sharps over here. And then you can go upstairs to the suites. Uh, feel free to just pass through the clouds, get some air. I don't know how much you want to, though. It's probably all shitty, like, lake water or something. Uh, you got a little lodge area over there. Great Wolf Lodge, you know what I'm saying. And you got the suites. All made out of wood, looking pretty nice. Uh, with a porch and... Yeah, that's my whole creative world. You know, I'll look at it sometimes. Like, the whole thing. And all that I've worked on for painstaking hours and be like... This place looks like shit. But then, I'll think about the experiences I made with this place. The memories I have of making it. And I say to myself... Yeah, I still regret it. 